Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a new custom room to explore on our Redmi Note 8. This time we have Genesis OS based on Android 15. So I have been using this ROM few days now after trying out Hyper OS. So let's check what we are getting with the device. So about phone, Android 15. So as you can see here, this is an unofficial version of Genesis OS for this device. The version we are using here is 4.0. And there is nothing much actually it is pretty much based on AOSP so in terms of network, internet and mobile data I haven't faced any kind of issue. I did try all those things working perfectly fine. Sound and vibration working perfectly fine no issue. Display section as you can see we are getting all the same things here nothing much as you can see double tap to work, double tap to sleep on all those things. Night light, dark theme those kind of things here and wallpaper and style. We do have actually AI wallpaper here, so if I go to more wallpaper as you can see AI wallpaper. And the built-in wallpaper is also not really that bad, but we are getting only single wallpaper which is as you can see here, this wallpaper. And these are actually from Google Photos maybe. So in terms of battery actually, the battery is not really doing that well. I did see drain issue on this ROM, but it's still pretty good actually. When I was playing game, it did not drain much. But uh, when I kept the device from maybe 2-3 days, it did um, reduce 15%. So not really that bad in terms of uh, battery backup. We do have some feature here like cycle count and other things to check and battery wizard. And also we do have battery management. So pretty much similar to AOSP, nothing much here. As an Android 15 based ROM, this device do have few features like private space and also if we uh, go back, we can see that peak of the last open page. So all those things and in terms of like fingerprint and face unlock, so both of them works flawlessly, no issue. So as you can see here, each and every time they works and also I did not see any kind of delay if you keep your device for some time and if you want to work the device with fingerprint. So those kind of delay I haven't faced. The device is working perfectly fine, no issue. So now come to the application part. So this ROM did come with two camera application, MIUI camera and Gcam. So both of them works flawlessly, no issue as you can see here. So they are working. We can go to 0.6, working and also we can go to 2x, working. So no issue with the camera and also you can try Gcam here. So the camera is also working no issue so the cameras worked perfectly fine and in terms of overall other application you can see here this ROM did come with few other Google application I don't really like that actually so if I need Google application I will flush myself but this as you can see here it got most of the Google application like Gmail Google Maps and other things and even it came with the Chrome now few issues with this ROM, first of all it does not come with any kind of safety net feature so you can't really use bank application here so as you can see safety net is failed and we don't really have any kind of google prep protect certification too so that also issue like you might face some incompatibility issue with application if you don't have certification so about device as you can see this device is not supported so these are the few issues i am having here and overall the experience is really good as you can see it is pretty much stock so as a osp build this device don't really have any kind of features like for customization as you can see in the setting panel we don't really have anything and in terms of gaming actually it is not really that bad i did play call of duty here medium medium setting so it performed really well as you expect from your redmi note 8 device and overall the rom is perfectly usable ROM if you don't use bank application on your device you can try this ROM and one thing which I am missing here is actually the circle to search feature or take a screenshot to search so that feature I use a lot but this ROM didn't really come with the feature so I did install Gemini here so as you can see it does not do anything when I press and hold the gesture bar so that's what you are getting with this ROM but you are getting Google Photos unlimited storage so as you can see here we do have unlimited storage here so these things are available only downside I have found with this ROM is safety net issue and not having any kind of circle to search and those features but rather than that perfectly usable ROM so if you want to try this ROM the ROM link in the description below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one